Hey you guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, we're gonna be checking out some property in Lagos, Nigeria, and I'm taking you guys along with me. Okay guys, so this first property is in Lakey Phase 1, and it's going for, I think, 14 million furnished. This is 14 million Naira, guys. <laughs> I know you knew that, right? It was not 14 million Canadian or American. So um, this is the house. This is how it looks. Um, that first room was the guest washroom. It has the sunken type living room, which I actually like. And it is enormous. It is really, really big. I don't know if you can see or tell how big it is on camera, but it's, it's really big. So this is the dining area. You got your kitchen. Kitchen looks great. It looks fabulous. Has everything you need. Has an extractor. That's a big deal. I don't always see extractors. So that's nice. He was showing us something out here and I kind of wish I went out there because I believe there's a boys quarters as well back there. Yeah, so um, this is the kitchen. And then we're gonna go upstairs. These is a hell of a lot of stairs. It's like, I love how high the ceilings are, but high ceilings mean a lot of stairs. <laughs> I also love that this particular place has a second living room, which I guess is common in Africa to have a living room on the main floor and then a living room upstairs. So I kind of like that. This is one of the rooms. Um, looks pretty standard. It has an extractor fan, which is also, I haven't seen that here in Ghana, an extractor fan in the washroom. Unless I think maybe if you're in an apartment building, they might have the extractor fan. But yeah, so um, that's nice. But yeah, it looks pretty standard. Looks pretty cool. This is the second bedroom. Again, it comes furnished. And you might see me touch the mattress because I'm trying to find out, is this um, a firm as an extra firm mattress? <laughs> because some of the mattresses be hoard, okay? Comment down below. I've noticed that here in Africa, even Jamaica. So comment down below if it's just like not the West that has like hard mattresses. <laughs> Yeah, it's a brick, it's a brick, guys. But overall, the place is cute. <laughs> and this is the third bedroom. This one has a bath. I do not like baths in tropical countries. I just don't like them. I just think they should stick to stand-up showers. And if they're gonna do a bath, the bath installation has to be flawless because those nooks and crannies is where like, you know, mold and that type of stuff grows. But yeah, so that master bedroom had a bath in it, but I would prefer a stand-up shower by itself. So this is the second living room as I was showing you guys. Has a small balcony looking over into the compound. Yeah. So now we're gonna head outside. So this is the pool area, the pool, does look shallow though. Looks like I could just like stand in there and it's up to my knees. But yeah, that's pretty cool that there's a pool. And there's a gym as well, which is really great. I would totally utilize this. So that's pretty cool. And over here, we have a tennis court that I really, really love. If you guys are OGs, I was trying to get Naomi to become a tennis star. So I love this tennis court. It's really um, amazing. And I love that it's uh, a part of the compound. So this is the second property we took a look at. They were actually trying to sell the entire building or rent the entire building or something. So one unit in here was about 9 million Naira. And that's for the year, guys. So upon entering the unit, 
There's a picture of Tupac. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So this place is, I think, quite a bit smaller than the other place, but it's still very, 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 very big. Like, it's still a very spacious unit. It's a bit smaller. So we're going to go into the kitchen in just a moment, but this is what the living room foyer area looks like. Okay, so the kitchen is mad crummy. Like, it's like, what? You guys put absolutely no effort into the kitchen at all. I don't even understand what's going on here. It looks like it's a bath in the kitchen. Like, I don't know. It made no sense. So, um, for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> So this is the upstairs floor. They actually call this floor one. In Canada, we call this the second floor, but yeah. So I believe this also comes furnished as well. Pretty standard room, very spacious still. Yeah, rock hard mattresses, okay. You got your washroom and everything you need. Pretty standard. And you have your um, second floor living room. This is the second bedroom as well. Pretty spacious. Perfect. And they're all pointing to me to go into the master bedroom. Now this master bedroom is enormous. It doesn't even look that big on camera, but it's big. Like to walk to this bed was a long walk. The bathroom is pretty standard, but this master bedroom is really, 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 really big. Like it's enormous. And I would love that. Now this is actually a spot for Crazy Burger. We're just looking at like potential stuff, you know? So the whole purpose of going to Nigeria, if we were to make that decision, would be to do Crazy Burger. So we're like, why not look at some retail space? So this unit, it's actually three units at the bottom that they are renting out as one unit right so you're not renting like each individual spot or maybe they are but you can rent the entire thing and make it one space so it is kind of nice to envision an indoor space because the space we have right now in Ghana is it's just like a takeout type spot with a very small seating area so it would be nice to have like an actual indoor outdoor spot so he's just showing us that we can actually remove this wall and join the two sides together. So kind of just making it into one space. So maybe we put something different on this side, maybe. Maybe like drinks or slushies or smoothies or something. So Crazy Burger would be on one side and maybe just something else would be on this side. Or maybe someone else can rent it from us if that were the um, idea. So he's just showing us again, there's a, a window at the back and an empty space. So there's just a void area, like it doesn't even have a roof. It's just an open area leading to the third kind of unit at the back of the building. So we head in there now. So this is that same window. So we're standing in that void I was showing you. There's no roof, it just goes up. He was suggesting it could be like a kitchen type vibe. LOL, like we're going into all these details and we're not like going anywhere anytime soon, but we're like really looking at the place like, yeah, we can put the stove here, we can put the fridge here. <laughs> Can't a girl dream? LOL. Yeah, so this is the third unit at the back. So to me, I mean, I would just make that third unit at the back the kitchen. Yeah, I would just make it the kitchen. 
and just call it a day and not make it too confusing. So I just want to show you the surrounding area, what it kind of looks like out here in Lakey. So Lakey is, feels more local to me. There's more greenery. Um, there's more people walking around, you know. One thing I appreciate too is they have sidewalks, at least here in Lakey, but they do have sidewalks that people can walk on. So this space or area is like kind of retail and not as residential, but you have pockets of apartments or housing, like this building right here, you know what I mean? So the population is definitely there. So this last place I took with my phone, cause I wasn't sure if we were gonna film or vlog or whatever, but this is a space going for um, 11 million. And it's a big space. It's in a nice location as well in Lakey. It is very big, very spacious. And with this type of place, it doesn't have like a back kitchen, like at the back is a toilet type of thing. So with this one, the kitchen would have to be like outside in the main area. So essentially you can kind of see the grill, see people cooking your burger. This is what the street outside looks like. And this is a Sunday. So it's actually not busy at all, but on a weekday, it's a, bi a very busy street, which would be ideal. But guys, that is all for my house tours. Like it was a very impromptu house tour video. So comment down below what you guys think of the locations. And yeah, just let me know what you guys think. So this is it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Bye.